we appreciate you stopping by bangthebook.com here in Las Vegas. Brian Blessing with Bruce Marshall. And we're going to preview the Sunday night Major League Baseball game, Bruce. Interleague play, and it's a good one. Two teams that are likely destined for the postseason. Tampa Bay uh, taking on the Dodgers. Kershaw versus Hellickson. We'll dive into the specifics. But both of these teams uh, in it for the long haul. Uh, Tampa, two-horse race with Boston. And we got the Dodgers going. But what I find comical, though, everybody raised their level of play is how all of a sudden, oh, now Mattingly just figured it out. Yeah, that's right. I mean, that's the story from the L.A. media. If you go there, all of a sudden, Mattingly's a genius. They wanted to fire this guy two months ago. They also continue to fawn over Yasiel Puig. Yeah, we know he's good, but like you say, Brian, other guys in this lineup and this roster have picked it up, especially the pitching staff. Some of the numbers the Dodger hurlers have posted over the last six, seven weeks have been unbelievable. I thought Tampa Bay, right after the All-Star break, I, literally you looked at it, I thought they were a stroke on the board to scoot and, and win the AL East. I still think they will. Uh, but they kind of floundered, not floundered, you know, tread water, 500 baseball. And then the, the Red Sox got hot again. Uh, these two will wage war, I think, the rest of the way. I think they will. The story in the East is that both Tampa Bay and Boston have really put the Orioles in the rearview mirror and the Yankees have fallen out of the race. So it is a two-team cavalry charge down the stretch here. But like you say, the last week and a half leading up to this series, Boston has picked up some ground, surpassed Tampa Bay in the standings. The Rays had one of the best American League marks in July in over 50 years, and they're 21-4 and four in July. But they've cooled a bit. They've lost uh, five of their last nine entering this series to fall behind the Red Sox in the East. And this game specifically, Sunday night, it's Clayton Kershaw versus uh, Jeremy Hellickson. $1.55, Dodgers are favored. The total on the game is 6.5. Let's start with the visiting pitcher uh, who had been an innings eater for the majority of the season, but the last two starts have been pretty rugged, specifically, Bruce, uh, against Arizona. Ross hits a three-run home run, but he had five hits, five runs, only one strikeout, but uh, also disconcerting. You get the three walks, and you start setting the table for the opposing offense. Well, these are two straight games, both against Arizona, ironically, that uh, Hellickson has not pitched very well. In fact, the Rays lost both of those two starts of Hellickson. And what's ironic about that is they had won his seven starts prior to those two games against Arizona. And the D-backs didn't come in swinging the bats all that well, so those results didn't figure. So this is a little bit of a red flag for Joe Madden right now, plus the fact that Hellickson has generally not pitched as well on the road as he has at home this season. Away from the trop, his ERA is over five. The numbers are unbelievable for Clayton Kershaw. Just the record, 10-7, and seven, seriously? The guy's ERA is 1.91, and his last eight starts, he's 5-2 and two with a 1.62 ERA. He has just been snake bit in terms of getting offensive support from his team when he's on the hill. Well, you know, if your ERA is under 2 at this point in the season, your whip is 0.88. You've only had two non-quality starts by you this point. You should have 15 wins. You should have 15 wins. You should be Max Scherzer, 16-1. and one. But instead, he's only 10-7. and seven. And this points out one of the concerns I have about the Dodgers because in more than half their games over the past four weeks entering this series – uh, the offense has scored three runs or fewer, and they've scored two or fewer in four of uh, Kershaw's last five starts. So Dodger offense has been a little bit choppy. They pile up a lot of runs in select games, but otherwise it's been kind of uh, modest here production-wise for the Dodgers the last uh, four weeks. It's the get-out game for what is now a very busy weekend with preseason football part of the equation as well. Thank you for joining us here at bangthebook.com.